The ancient archaeological site of Siguria, located in the central Martalay district of Sri Lanka, is a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the people who built it. Rising dramatically out of the surrounding landscape, the rocky outcropping known as Lion's Rock has long been a source of intrigue and wonder for travelers and archaeologists alike. But Siguria is much more than just a beautiful natural formation. It is a complex and multi-layered site that has been the subject of intense study and speculation for over a century. From its earliest beginnings as a Buddhist monastery to its later transformation into a royal palace and military fortress, Siguria has played a pivotal role in the history of Sri Lanka. The story of Siguria begins in the 5th century AD, when King Kashyapa, the son of King Darthusana, seized the throne of Sri Lanka in a bloody coup. Fearing retribution from his half-brother, Moggallana, who was the legitimate heir to the throne, King Kashyapa fled to the safety of Siguria, a remote and rugged outcropping of rock that was located in a dense jungle. Once there, he set about transforming Siguria into a formidable fortress, building a series of walls, gates, and moats around the base of the rock. He also began construction on a palace at the summit of the rock, which was accessed by a series of stairways and bridges that had been carved into the sheer cliffs. King Kashyapa's palace was an architectural marvel, with sprawling gardens, swimming pools, and luxurious living quarters. It was also heavily fortified, with numerous defensive structures and weapons platforms that would have made it nearly impregnable to attack. The area around Siguria may have been inhabited even during prehistoric times. Evidence through artifacts found, early monastic settlements, caves, and shelters built into rock, clearly indicate that there was human activity, as far back as the 3rd century BCE. One of the most striking features of the palace, at Siguria, is the series of frescoes that adorn the walls of the rock. These frescoes, depict a number of beautiful and scantily clad women, and are believed to be portraits of King Kashyapa's concubines. While their exact meaning and purpose remain a mystery, it is clear that these frescoes were an important part of life at Siguria. The mirror wall, at the site of Siguria, was a highly polished surface. The wall, which is located near the base of the rock, is made of a type of plaster that was polished to a high sheen, and is thought to have been used by the king, to view his image. Over the years, this was used as a kind of graffiti wall, by visitors to the site. Visitors to Siguria have left behind a number of inscriptions, and drawings on the mirror wall, many of which are still visible today. These inscriptions range from simple graffiti to more elaborate poems and drawings and provide a unique glimpse into the thoughts and experiences of the people who visited Siguria in the past. In addition to its historical significance, the mirror wall at Siguria is also a testament to the ingenuity and engineering skills of the people who built it. The wall, which is over a thousand years old, is still in remarkably good condition, 
and is a testament to the durability of constructions and craftsmanship of the ancient Sri Lankans. The Lion's Paw is a massive stone stairway that leads to the entrance of the fortress. The stairway is carved in the shape of a lion's paw and is one of the most iconic and recognizable features of Siguria. The stairway is believed to have been used as a ceremonial entrance to the fortress and its design is thought to have symbolized the power and strength of the ruler who built it. But it was not just the palace that made Siguria such a special place. The site was also home to a number of other important structures, including a series of monasteries and temples that housed hundreds of Buddhist monks. These monks lived and worked at Siguria, studying and imparting the teachings of the Buddha and tending to the spiritual needs of the local population. The northern terraces and caves are fronted by the beautiful octagonal pond. The Vihara complex believed to be from the 5th or 6th century CE is on the left, with an old image house dated to the 2nd or 3rd century BCE. Stairways, passages, caves, archways, and alleys, all blending into stone. Boulders, of different sizes and shapes, have been masterfully used to create useful areas for secular use. This planning, design, and engineering is amazing, considering the structures are over 1,500 years old. The buildings and structures flow and adapt to the contours of the terrain. As the years passed, Siguria became a major center of Buddhist learning and culture, attracting scholars and pilgrims from all over Asia. It was also a place of great beauty and natural splendor, with its gardens, water features, and stunning views of the surrounding landscape. One of the most striking features of the ancient archaeological site of Siguria is the elaborate garden architecture that can be found throughout the site. The gardens at Siguria were an integral part of the palace and monasteries that were built on the rock and were designed to be both functional and aesthetically pleasing. One of the most famous features of the gardens at Siguria is the water garden, which consists of a series of pools, fountains, and channels that were used for irrigation and as a source of drinking water for the palace and surrounding area. The water garden is thought to have been influenced by the famous gardens of ancient Persia and is a testament to the cosmopolitan nature of the culture that flourished at Siguria. Overall, the gardens at Siguria are a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the people who built them and are an important part of the site's rich and varied history. They are a must-see for anyone interested in ancient garden design and provide a unique glimpse into the past. From the 6th century CE onwards and through the Polonarua period, Siguria continued as a tourist site evidenced by the writing on the mirror wall. However, by the Kandyan period, the popularity of the site had diminished. Over time, Siguria's importance began to wane, and it was eventually abandoned and left to the jungle. It was not until the 19th century, when British archaeologists and explorers began to rediscover the site, that its true significance was fully appreciated. Today, Siguria is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a major tourist attraction in Sri Lanka. 
visitors from around the world come to see the ancient palace and monasteries and to marvel at the engineering and architectural feat that is Lion's Rock. It is a place that truly stands the test of time and a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the people who built it.